welcome back to this Rift Let's Play. You're with Sambo, Seraphis, and joining us as always here in Talara is Tallahassee. How are you this evening, my friend? Yeah, I'm going all right. Um, yeah. Right, Rumbling is telling you to slap it. I know, did you notice, okay. by the way, welcome to you guys watching this episode. If you've noticed down the corner there... A little female dwarf named Rumbelina who's doing Beyonce dance moves and asking us to slap it. Tallahassee, that's a Seraphim member. Do tell us, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> that is Rummy. Um, that is one of his mini alts. And he's one of the officers in the guild. There you, um, go. you may recognize him as a pantless warrior dueling with Sezi. In the one year episode. Aha, uh -huh. and there you go, folks. That gives you an idea of the caliber of officers we have in this league, in this guild. By the way, Rumbelina, good to see you, you crazy dwarven chick, you. You know what, Tallahassee, it's funny, you don't often see. Gosh, it's hard to keep a track on them. Um, you don't often see female dwarves, do you? I mean, for a start, obviously, in J.R.R. Tolkien's world, there are no such thing. But in games, just not many people tend to roll them. Is that why Rumbelina rolled one? I guess, because there's not many of them around. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe she wanted, or maybe he wanted someone for Sezi to have, you know, and to hold late oh, at night. I don't know. To, to keep warm at night, you reckon? Maybe. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, she certainly, Rumbelina, has certainly got enough energy to keep somebody warm throughout the night. There's no doubt about that. So there you go, folks. If you ever wanted to can't get over how tiny she is. Well, I know she is tiny, isn't she? Look, now she's fall Look at that. She's out of energy. She's fallen asleep now. Uh, if you want to join a crazy, crazy guild, come along. Join Seraphim. Of course, you know where. We have been with Seraphim for, well, must be almost a year by now, I'd imagine. And, of course, they've got all sorts of crazy members in there. As always, there's a link in the description below this video, and we welcome you to come and say good day. Apply on the site and come and join us here in Talara. Now, by the way, speaking of folks, just got a couple of quick shout-outs, Tallahassee, before we get going. And, by the way, this is a very exciting episode, especially for me. We'll get onto that in a minute. Just a quick shout-out here. we got one from Agent Rainer 96 and they say, hey, can I please have a shout out for my character a high elf rogue named Jaden and he's on the Keenblade server so there you go now he also says this will be of interest to you as well Tallahassee if you go to apparently go to change.org and search tabula rasa we'll find a petition that was made to get NCSoft to hopefully bring the game back we must have been talking about tabula rasa again in an episode recently Tallahassee but uh, there you go change.org you know what I'd go and sign that it. not that it's ever going to happen though I'd love it to come back wouldn't you still Tallahassee I would love for that game to come back. Yeah, same here. Uh, we can but hope. By the way, look at our heads. You can see we're both targeted on rum there. And as she j jumps around, our heads are going all over the place. That is hilarious. Got another shout out here from Paddy Wax Wack Eyes, I think it is. And they're saying, hey, just caught up with your series again. And I'm back on Rift myself. So hello from my level 50 cleric on Ice Watch named Mavanda. Been having a lot of fun trying out the new fishing and survival. By the way, a shout out would be lovely on an up and coming Rift episode. And he says here, where PvP and Rift is concerned, I'm still not sure it's good fun. But I feel that you'd have to really dedicate yourself to it over any PvE to get on the right side of the gear balance. And you know, Know what they're paddy whack eyes you're probably dead right anyway nice of you to say good day and thanks for your support last one here from sub ghost 1995 and they say hey sambo and tallahassee love all your videos keep it up and if possible could you please give me a shout out in your next rift video well sub ghost 95 1995 rather you've got your wish there and a big hello to you and thank you for your support as well now speaking of survival and fishing tallahassee some kind of, I don't know, some minor patch dropped this week. And unless I'm mistaken, it may have something to do with fishing and survival. What patch dropped this week? What number was it? Patch 1.2. Getting confused with Swotor. There you go. I, you know what? I was getting confused with that as well. It is indeed 1.8. And if my memory serves me correctly, that means that there's hunting and survival and fishing in the game. Now, if that's true, I'm going to be a very, very happy chappy. Tell me that's true. 
There is. Oh! And we'll go do some. Oh! Yes! Woohoo! All right, very happy with that. By the way, can I say that not being able to emote, we can emote when we're on a horse. It actually said there that I cheer for Rumbelina, but they don't actually show the cheer. That's a bit... Oh, come on. Some other games no, actually... They don't. S- still actually, yeah, let you move your arms about. Anyway, folks, that's the big news for this particular episode is that, yes, 1.8 has dropped. There's a whole raft of new features, including guild finders. Um, there's scoreboards, apparently, for PvE and PvP. All sorts of goodies, but you guys know how much I absolutely adore the crafting in MMOs, specifically fishing and survival, which I think Tallahassee is the fancy schmancy name in Rift for being a cook for cooking. Is that right? Basically, yeah. All right, and it's okay. got some other bits and pieces as well, um, like making tents and stuff like that as well. You are kidding me. Oh, man. Okay, take yeah, so- me to a trainer. I presume that we've got to go see a trainer to kick all of this off, and I'm going to go right ahead and assume that they're in Sanctum over in the background there. Would that be right? That is correct. Okay, if that's the case, then I'm so- going to get off my high horse. going to say goodbye to Rumbelina. Let's give her a bow. Nice to see you, Rumbelina, by the way. There we go. That was a weird bow. Did you see that? I sort of did a half bow. You did there a we... curtsy. Oh, it was a curtsy. There we go. And she's done one as well. And we're going to give her a wave. There we are. Ta-ta. So come along and join Sarah from Guys, and you two can run around half naked, just like most of the guild. All right, so I'm going to assume that we need to go and see a particulum. Now, where where is the particulum around here? Hang on, I'm completely lost. Um... Yeah, we're going to use the soul recall. Oh, okay. And there you go. Rumbelina is saying enjoy fishing. We certainly, certainly will. Okay, soul recall it is. Here we go. And this is going to take me... Oh, wait a minute. It's taking me to Three Springs in Moonshade. Is that right? Yeah, but then we can just catch the Porter KM across. Oh, okay. It's all right. All right. Sounds good. There we go. Excellent. I still love that animation. Yeah, oh, same here. The soul recall one? Yeah. Yeah, same. It's awesome, isn't it? It's just a little bit different to most animations. As is everything in Rift, just that little bit different than everything else. There we go. Three springs. Oh, we're right outside the particulum. How handy. Just as well you're here, I probably would have run back the whole way or something like that. Okay, into the particulum, and we need to go to Sanctum. Yes, please. And we're off. Oh, man, you've got no idea how excited I am about this. I love my fishing. Love fishing in MMOs, as you all know. And I love cooking as well. Now, I'm going to assume, Tallahassee, that the two go hand in hand. And I'm sure we'll learn about it as the episode goes on. But in a nutshell, is it a linked system where basically I can fish and at the end of the day, I'll get ingredients for the cooking? Is that like the high level of it? Yeah, it is. That's that's the gist of it. All right, that's good. Good, good, good. I'm glad about that. All right, here he is, Tallahassee. Let's mount up because we can, I guess. All right, take me to your leader. Well, take me to your fisherman or your cooker or whatever. Are they different? Are they actually classed as different professions? That's the other question I had. Yes, and they they don't interfere with the ones that you've got already. Oh, so they're added... So you've already got three professions at the moment. So these are additional... Excellent. All right, I like the sound of that. And by the way, it's been ages since we've been here. These tents were never here before. There used to be a, there used to be a big statue in the middle here. What on earth's going on? Is this is this new in the patch, or has this been here for a while? Yeah, it's part of 1.8. Oh wow. Okay. Do you know what they did change it up, didn't they, in the last patch as well, uh, when they actually added that fountain? I like that. By the way, it keeps things interesting. It's good. All right, so here we go. What have we got here? Oh, oh, it's a master fisher. Woohoo! All right, so he's got a quest for me, I assume. What did you catch today? Here we go. What did you catch today? The best place to learn to fish is in Argent Glade. Oh, awesome. I love Argent Glade. My friend Molly Graysby is there, and she'll be delighted to teach you. You'll find her near the log bridge. Best of luck with your catch. Visit Molly Graysby in Argent Glade. Okay. So, hang on. Uh, what do, I'd like to... So, do I not bother training here or anything? Will we get that in Argent Glade? Yeah. I'd just do it. It's easy enough to do it there. And then we'll head over to Molly. Okay, all right. So, I'd like to train... Well, hang on. I'd like some fishing tips. Here we go. You'll need a fishing pole and the fishing skill. All right, cool. I sell fishing poles and I can train you in fishing. So let me know what you'd like. Um, don't 
buy a pole from him. Okay, I right. remember bird. to use the right. I hear the fish are biting. He's talking away. All right, there you go. First piece of good advice from Tallahassee. Now, I'd like to train for... Oh, look at this. Novice. Here we go. And fishing. Catch fish with rod and reel. Train. Awesome. All right. And I've got... A, wait. Hang on. What's going on here? I've actually got a recipe. But this isn't a cook. Explain this. How did, what, what? I don't get it. Why have I got a recipe? It's a lure for fishing. Oh. Okay. So I need a forest pond leaper which apparently is crafting material. And I need a smooth minnow, which I presumably fish up. And that gives us a irresistible water snail, which improves your catch for 10 charges. Oh, very cool. Okay, we'll train that up. Go now, Tallahassee, where do I go in my UI to see both of those, please? Okay. Um, now, they're going to be underneath your abilities tab which is P. All right, P, there we go, yep. And then under general, it has general skills and there's survival and fishing. Oh, oh, I, oh I've only got fishing. I haven't learnt um, master survival yet, but yes, there we go, fishing. Catch fish with rod and reel. So, hang on, do I have to put that on a skill bar or something, or or, or do I not need it? Um, no, you can put it to a skill bar because you're going to want to be able to make the different lures. Okay, fishing, hang on. So, so hang on, so this fishing... It should already be on your bar, to be honest. No, no, well, I have full bars, so, yeah, it probably tried. Uh -huh. There we go. All right, so hang on, so that fishing skill there, that's actually not fishing. Is that the crafting side of it, is it? That's the crafting side of it. Now, let's click on it and see what happens. Oh, you're right. Okay, so there we go, fishing, and... Okay, so if I have a smooth minnow and a forest pond leaper... I'll be able to craft that. Cool. Okay. So this is awesome. So I'm going to be able to get more and more recipes as we go through this, which is just exactly the sort of thing that I like. So that's great. All right. Now what about... Okay. So that's where... Hang on. Is that where those recipes appear? Yes. All right. All right. Now I'm going to go to Master Survivalist. Now, by the way, Tallahassee, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm just looking right across there. Can you see the sunlight coming through there? I mean, it is just gorgeous over to the east. Just amazing. Love this game. All right. Master Survivalist, let's have a chat with Looking you. Looking for a new recipe? Yes, are you a recipe? They've got strange voices, these guys. Here we go. Novice and make camping gear and cook food. Oh, man, this is going to be awesome. All right, so I'm going to train train that one up then. Here we go. Oh, and it's got a minnow dumpling. So, oh, look at that. So this is my first cooking recipe, I guess. And it requires dough and a smooth minnow which makes sense and that gives me some consumable food there which restores 870 health 980 mana over 10 seconds now Tallahassee I'm just looking at that recipe there the dough is the dough something I need to make or is that something that's available from like I don't know general cooking vendors or something it's something that you, you buy if you anything. click on him again right. think I'd like to I buy something he's wilderness. actually got the dough there Oh, here we go. All right, so this is how it works in a lot of games, and I'm pleased about this. So you get your basic ingredients from the vendor, and then you catch up the other part of it, and I like that. Do you think it's worth buying some of this now? I might as well buy a few, right? Oh, may as well. Get Why some, not? Here we are. Get a couple of bits of dough. I'll pop them. On. How much are they? Two silver. I'll get five of them. Or five. There we are. And you see, see I bought got, 50 of them. You've got... Because it cost oh, me exactly one gold. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, good point. Um, you can see they've got fresh herbs, mixed veggies, soup stock, sea salt, and ground spices. All very cooking-sounding things. Let's actually go grab... There we go, survival. We'll pop that on our hotbar down there as well. Click on that. And there we go. So you can see for this minnow dumpling, it actually says 5 out of 1 dough. So I'm guessing that now all I need to do is catch the fish for that one. And, 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 and... All right, the irresistible water snail... Needs a smooth minnow and a forest pond leaper. Now, can I talk to this guy for the need pond leaper? I doubt it because he's probably just got food. No. Don't burn That's the right. Meat. So we need to go fishing. Did, so hang on. Does both the forest pond leaper and the minnow Want come to learn from? More about fishing. Hang on. Fishing. Oh really? Yeah, because you're right. Look, this guy. All he's got is animal glue, some oil, varnish, lacquer. 
that sort of stuff. But there's the fishing pole, but you reckon I'm not going to buy that one. That's a good tip. There you go. Mail All right. Lime, I'm ready to rock and roll. Angle. So what are we doing? Heading to Argent Glade for a bit of a hunting trip, are we? Yes, we are. Oh. Well, not really a hunting trip. It's more like a fishing trip, except it, we're not going to be as drunk. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. Now, by the way, and look, you know what? It's... These days, the only time I get to log into this game is when we film. Will you look at it, folks? Is it seriously Tallahassee? It is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous-looking game, isn't it? And it's still active. Look how many people are around. I mean, people who say, "Oh, it's a pity that Rift died." Um, not sure what game you're playing, but there are plenty of people around. Have you noticed it got busier recently with a patch or something? Or what, what's your thoughts on the population? Um, no, I think it's always been roughly the same. To be honest, it's never really been dead, uh, dead, has it? No, it, ha it hasn't been dead like, let's say, um, DCUO was dead for quite a long time. Yeah, it, it was. It was a ghost town, absolutely. Or, or like Star Wars: The Old Republic is at the moment. What were we filming the other day? And I think we did a Who Is in the Zone, and weren't we the only two people in it? I think. Yep. It's not too good. Yeah, we were the only two people in there. Yeah, it's not not very good. So? Mm. All right, here we are. Good old Argent Glade. Hello, hello. It's been a long time since we've been here. Let's have a look down there into the Wizard Sanctum or whatever it's called. Very cool. All right, now I've got a mark on my mini map, Tallahassee, that is. Oh, okay, it's up there. Right, so you're going the right way. Sorry, there was some other mark on my map. Don't know what that's pointing at, but anyway. Oh, I'm looking forward the to this. Of Bell Rat. Now, while we ride there, in terms of fishing, I remember last week we talked about this and you said, oh, now it'll be interesting to note whether or not, oh, what's that, a fish exchange? You're going to have to tell us about what that is. Um, whether or not there are certain level zone restrictions to fishing, you've had a little bit of a go of the fishing. Do you know whether that's the case or can you actually fish anywhere you like? Um, no, it's restricted, so you've got to have the right fishing skill for to the be zone able to do it right yep. so so we're going to have level 1 obviously at the moment uh, where are we going to be fishing is it in argent glade itself yeah okay cool around right. here oh excellent all right i can help you any excuse to come line. back to argent glade is fine with me okay here we go fishing lessons we'll finish that up oh and look at that got myself an achievement woohoo a silver lining very nice what is that for that is for i have no clue where is it doesn't even show me hang on summary Helping the residents of Silverwood complete 109 quests. Oh, oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, so that was just pure coincidence then. I thought it was a fishing-related one. And you can see we the reward we get is pure crystallized insight. And that unfortunately requires... Ooh, requires level 50, but does grant 50,000 XP towards planar attunement. Good lord, that's fantastic. I love when achievements actually give you usable rewards. It's good. All right, so you can see here, shallow water fishing. Oh, this is what I've been looking forward to, folks. I love fishing so much, she says. Maybe you will too. If you haven't done so already, train in fishing from me. I'll even let you borrow one of my old poles. Why don't you try fishing in shallow water first? See if you can catch me a forest pond leaper. Aha! That's the ingredient that we need at Tallahassee. You're absolutely right. They like to swim in the shallow water under the bridge. So fish up a forest pond leaper for Molly Graysby in Argent Glade. And this fish lives in shallow water. Oh, and you're right. Look, we get a beginner's fishing pole. Thank you, Tallahassee. All right, now, before we go Your on, what is this guy over off. here with the purple on his head? He's a fish exchange. What's the go with this guy? I'm going to right-click on him. And fortune. I don't get it. Okay, what, so basically about? what you can do is you can exchange rare fish that you fish up in the zone for red. Oh, hang on. Here we go. If you've got eight silverwood devils, I'll take them off your hands. Don't worry. I'll trade you something good for them. Oh, wow. Okay. I see. And, yeah, in fact, this time, yes, you're right, we get notoriety with Quicksilver College and we get ourselves a tackle box. I'm assuming that a tackle box means you can keep fishing-related goods and accessories in there without them taking up space, extra space in your inventory. Would that be right? No, it's just a container. As soon as you open it up, it'll have an item in there. Oh, oh okay, so it's a reward. All right. Uh, and again, folks, when yep. you look at that view in the background, seriously, this game is amazing. Now, I've got a great big question mark that's come up here, a tutorial alert. 
Here we go. It says, you can fish. Get a fishing pole from a master fisher, then drag the icon to your hop bar. When you are near water, click the pole icon, then click the water. When you see the water splash, click exactly once. Then if you didn't loot something, wait for the water to splash again. When it does, click exactly once. That's weird that it says that. This cycle may repeat several times, but if you or but you will always catch something in the end. Okay, that sounds confusing. We're gonna we're gonna ask you for help, my friend. So how can you be up high like this to fish? Can we fish off the bridge or do you have to get down to the waterline? We can fish off the bridge. We can fish off the bridge or we can stand here. Okay, well we'll Wherever do you'd both like to so go, we can... but we're gonna be fishing basically to the water underneath the bridge. Okay. Um well maybe I'll drop down a bit. So actually. here we go. Alright. Top top tip for this. Yes. Actually put your fishing pole and put it into one of your action bars. Oh, so that's that's the first thing I was looking at. I was just going through my abilities menu and I couldn't see fishing. Well, not the fishing that we're talking about. So to actually perform the action of fishing, we need to actually drag the pole there. Is that what you're saying? Yep, so just put it onto your hot bar and then click on it. Okay, and what will happen it, is it'll... Drag it down. Okay, but I haven't equipped it yet. Is that okay? No, you don't need to equip it. Okay. Alright, so if I click on it once, okay. then, like you say... Yep, it gives you, like, a little area target. Oh, I see. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Yep, and then you click on that area, and it casts into the water. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, that is a very... Look at us both fishing away. Okay, that's a really... Yep. Now, hang on. Before I go any further, I want to test this. If I move, does it stop the fishing? Yes, and there you go. You can see Tallahassee's one making a splash there. Okay, in other games, and I'm looking at you, WoW, the fishing target, like where your bob lands, is a little bit random. You can't actually direct it. I much prefer this. This is, this is awesome. All right, so let's try this again. So I'm going to cast it down there. And by the way, it's great that you don't have to equip it. And you can still see my weapon. And can you see the detail there, folks? Look at that. It's got a little rod and reel. Now, what am I looking for, Tallahassee? I'm looking for a splash. And then I click on the fishing pole once again. Yep. Oh, you've got to be quick, haven't you? Oh, fish up a forest pond leaper from... Yes, you received a forest pond leaper. Woo! All right, give myself a great big cheer there. That's my very first catch of the day. I'm very happy about that. I'm going to go and look in my inventory and can I... Now, hang on. Do these actually appear in the... Yes, they do. There it is. In my bag is a forest pond leaper. That is great. All right, how many of these do I need to get? Just the one, don't I? But I'm going to... Can I do a bit more fishing? Just the one. Yeah, I want to do a bit more fishing. And you I can, see... but we're going to do more fishing anyway. Okay, all right, hang on, one more, one more, one more. I can see in the chat log there that you also got one, by the way. It's great that it shows that. Look at us all fishing here. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, my enthusiasm for Rift has just gone through the roof, seriously. I love fishing. Oh, and there we go. You now have a skill of three in fishing. Oh, seriously, mate, this is, this is the best thing ever. I'm very, very happy. All right, so that's all we need for now, is it? Yep, so we come over here and we talk to what did you Molly catch again. Alright, okay, finish. There we go, and it says, okay, different fish live in shallow and deep water. Okay, this is very interesting. I think you should try for a false shark next. They like to swim in water that's well over your head. Oh gosh, that actually makes a big difference. See, this, this is the sort of attention to detail that I absolutely love. Alright, try casting your line into the deep water in the middle of the pond. Alright, and we get ourselves yep, a reward so. of a shark snack there. Okay, so firstly, you I've lost my pole, my original pole. Yep, it'll be back in your bags again, so you just got to put it back on the bar. Okay, now is is that beginner's one, now, is that the reward? Is that the reward I got, though? Is this mine now, or will it yes, be handed it back? Oh, yep, so... so right. It's their bag. Just have a look. All right, got it. Okay, now, Tallahassee, I've just noticed two things. One, on my mini-map, there's a big circular area right in front of us, so that's showing us where I need to fish, right? For a start, for the quest. Yep. Why are there little green sparkles in the water? Are they Were they always there, or has that got something to do with this fishing and the quest? It's because of the fishing. Because it's a school of fish. Really? So you see, I've pulled up a 
Silverwood Devil, which is a rare fish. Oh, really? Oh, there you go. It just came up there. You've looted a Silverwood Devil. Oh, it's blue, right. The Scholars of Quicksilver College prize this fish. Can be trade... Oh, so you can go to that vendor. All right, okay. So are you saying... Oh, now I couldn't fish on top of you there, by the way. It wouldn't let me. No, you can't, but you can fish in the same area. No, it won't let me fish around your... It actually won't let me fish there at all. Re oh, because it requires... It actually... No, it says because it requires fishing five. So I've obviously got to, got okay, to get my fishing just... up first. Yep, so if you cast around a little bit, you yep, should I'll do be that. able to get your fish. Alright, let's get it up to number five. There we go. Oh, and I got shed scale, so I got junk there, but that's okay. My fishing is now four. And that requires five. Come on. Actually, I've got to lock my hot bar. I keep dragging it off. There we go. Who else is fishing with us? Arrow wave up the top there. Gosh, so fishing's obviously very popular, isn't it? I guess, because it's new. Yeah, because there's also artifacts, and you can pull up, like, treasure and stuff as well. So people no are way. really getting into it. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Okay, I have five. I'm coming over to you. Now, is this green bit... Oh, okay, I see. School of Rare Fish. So that's going to be there, you know, whether we're on this quest or not. Well, when I say it's going to be there, if there is a School of Rare Fish available, it will have that green sparkle on it, even when we're not on the quest, right? Yep. Okay, good. Here we go. Come on, wish us luck. Pull that up. What did I get? Oh, the fish got away! Now, is that random, Tallahassee? No, it shouldn't get away. Um unless you cancel your cast part of the way through right well, now, no, have I... you gotten the fish that you're after no i'm going to try this school of fish shark over here no uh no only you've got it um but what happened then Tallahassee? interestingly is that i was fighting with the fish i actually was in battle with it and and it i just lost it and there we go oh look the fish got away again okay i must did be doing you some... click on the did you click on your rod again? Yeah. To reel it in? Yeah, I did. But that's okay. Are I you mean, sure? I kind of expect that that would be how it would work, though, that you're not going to actually catch every single one, presumably. Maybe you've just been lucky. Oh, I got it. I got a false shark. But hang on, I just want to keep fishing this node here because I want to get something rare as well. Oh, hang on. It's only a school of fish not a school of rare fish so that obviously makes a difference right i'm not going to get a rare out of this am i yeah but it does make it easier to fish in a school of fish right now i don't know if you noticed but if i hover my mouse cursor over the bobber when it's got a catch on it it turns into a different icon now i don't suppose you happen to know what that's all about rather than clicking on my pole there we go what is it yeah, so you can click on that, so it's like World of Warcraft. Oh, okay. Alright, so you can click on the pole or on that particular icon, I guess. Yep. Alright. Oh, this is so cool. Just one more, just one more. I know we're running out of time, by the way. Oh, go on, go on, catch it, catch it. Oh, you've got a blue wide mouth. What the heck? You're a good fisherman. And it's a crafting material as well. Very nice. Come on. Come on, Seraphis. Pull me up something good. Go on, go on. She's fighting with it. There we go again. And oh, I got another false shark. That's all right. I now have a skill of eight in fishing. Woohoo! All right, this is good. Oh, look at that sun. Look at the sun pouring through the trees. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, Molly, say good day. Anything good? There we go. Now, we've run out of time. Seriously, oh, this is... I'm going to be so caught up in this. I'm going to be playing this so much. Now, apparently I got some kind of recipe there. I'm trying to find it. I can't. Why can't I find it? Oh, did it automatically go into my abilities, perhaps? Yeah, it's, it, it's already... It's actually just in your bags. So, it's given us the irresistible water snail which we already know and there's also another one for the speedy shark snack which right. restores uh, 1420 health and 1700 mana over 10 seconds increases out of combat run speed by 10% which lasts for 30 minutes whoa 
Okay, that's very nice. All right, so if I look through my... Ah, here we go. The recipe, speedy shark snack. You do not meet the item requirements. Oh, so that requires survival 35. And by the way, hello, Arrowwave from Seraphim over there. Didn't realize there was someone from our guild. Let's give them a big wave. There we go. My, did you see that? My emotes are doing weird things. That's better. Now, okay, so to get my survival up, Tallahassee, obviously I have to cook stuff like this minnow dumpling and whatever, and I need a smooth minnow for that, which I don't have, so I'm going to have to go and fish some of them in order to be able to actually level up my survival, right? That is correct. Now, what about... Now, by the way, we're running out of time, so we're going to have to carry this on in our next episode. Just a very quick one from me here. I'm curious. A lot of games, when it comes to cooking, they actually make you stand near, you know, like a crafting table or a stove or something like that. Is it the same in Rift? Do we have to go to a crafting area when we can eventually start cooking? Or do we just... Are we able to do it anywhere? Do we need a fire? How does it work? Um, basically, you just cook. It the game doesn't really care about giving you a stove. Okay, all right. Well, that's good. That makes it easier. I like that. All right, so there we go, folks. We've got our next quest here. Let's at least grab this. Fishing with lures. Now, let's see you try your hand at using lures. Now, first, you're going to need an irresistible water snail. Here's the recipe how to make one. Oh, of course, you've already got that. Once you have made an irresistible water snail, use it on your fishing pole, and it will help you catch a silverwood devil and you'll only find them in deep water all right so we'll accept that Hope let me see if I go to my one. fishing here irresistible water snail that's what I'm gonna to have to make I don't have a smooth minnow at all so am I gonna to have to go fish one of them up then make the irresistible yep, water and snail and then we'll be able to complete the quest right okay all right, well, we're going to have to leave it off till next week because we're completely out of time. Can't believe how quickly time flies, especially now that we're doing fishing in Rift. It's my dream come true. And by the way, again, don't you love how the sunlight actually changes Tallahassee? Can you see the warm glow that's being cast on us there as the sun sets? Actually, the light changes color. It's a really amazing touch, isn't it, yeah. in the game? It's just beautiful. All right, beautiful folks, so game. there we go. We're going to leave you dangling. <laughs> Get it? Dangling? Yeah. Anyway, leave you dangling there. You're going to have to join us in the next episode as we do two things. One is we're going to start cooking the minnow dumplings that we've got here. But in order to be able to do that, I've got to level up my actual fishing. And that means using this to create irresistible water snails, not only to level up my cooking, but also because we're going to need that for the quest that I'm on to go and fish up that other fish we need out of deep water. And, of course, to start all of that off, I'm going to have to go fishing and get some smooth minnows. So I think I'll do that off camera and you're going to have no complaints from me. So overall, Tallahassee, score out of 10. I know it's early days yet, but what do you give this game for its first implementation of fishing and cooking? What do you reckon? Um, it's a good start. Um, I would have liked to have seen, you know, survival be a little bit more encompassing. You know, we have a whole world full of animals that we could kill. Right. Can we, can we not so, actually attack them yet? Or well, mind you, we haven't really explored... The survival um, side, but I guess you can don't really don't really get anything out of it yet. Okay. Well, I guess, like you say, it is early days, a good start, and I'm sure that they'll continue to develop it, especially as they get player feedback, etc., etc., um, and as they develop the actual technical side of the systems as well. They're probably testing it a little bit, I'd imagine, making sure that all the new activities don't put too much of a strain on the client-server relationship or stuff like that. I saw that. I saw you switch. At least, you, at least your pants didn't come off that time. <laughs> Sorry, he, my armor my armor was a different colour. It was gold and blue for some reason. Oh, like a glitch, you mean? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Actually, that's happened to me before as well. Still, it's not enough to put us off this game, folks. As you can see, not only is it beautiful, not only is it highly populated, but now we've got fishing and cooking. Oh boy, I'm a happy Sambo, and I can't wait till next week until we continue this on. So I certainly hope you enjoyed that episode. Tallahassee, as always, thank you very much for taking us through that. And have you been actually doing it on your, one of your alts? How far along have you got? Um, well, I've been doing it on north. Um, granted, I haven't spent that much time doing fishing because it's... For me, it's a bit boring. Sure, sure. What about the survival side? I know you side? enjoy it. Um, I haven't spent that much time doing that either because it's really dependent on your fishing level because at the moment, the fish that are on the auction house right. are extremely expensive. Oh, is that right? 
Okay, so so yeah. it's a bit of a boon for the server economy then. <laughs> it's one way of looking at it. Yeah. yeah uh, in the first couple of hours of people putting like new fishing um what is it i'm trying to think of the right word here um mats materials the, the no the artifacts the artifacts are oh okay yeah it was it was they were selling for like 250 platinum oh ouch oh, mind you you kind of see that behavior on any mmo don't you with people trying to fleece others when these crafts still come out mind you look it's a buyer's market i guess if people are buying it then they'll continue to sell for that high price i'm guessing it'll eventually come down over time but there you go folks there's a good reason to get into fishing straight away make a couple of platinum for your good self anyhow we need to get out of here thanks again Tallahassee. really appreciate this and i can't wait to come back next week and carry it on as well and of course have a look at some of the other stuff we've got here namely the survival and do some cooking really looking forward to that so there you go folks certainly hope you're having a great day wherever in the world you are we do look forward to seeing you next time on behalf of myself sambo and tallahassee we will see you then and bye bye